Hello and welcome back to Satisfactory. I'm Avon and this is Doggo. Now, in this episode, Doggo and I are going to see if we can get the cold power milestone. It's been long, long, long in the waiting. So let's get going with this right away. I'm just going to just going to loot the box up here. Oh, so many iron rods. It's so nice. We need many of these. Oh, and we have many of these. Too many, actually. We don't have any screws, though. That's... Th this is... This is known. I know why. Because we actually use them now. To make things we need. Let's see. Let's add these there. And... This is, no, it's downclocked. Oh, of course it's downclocked because um, because of the screws. It just seemed so slow and, but but it, of course it's slow because that's how it work. works. Right, Doggo? Yes. Come, come, let's craft. Yay. Oh, yeah, no inventory space. Okay, so that's not. I wonder if that's an actual mushroom. It's a bacon mushroom. Aha. Uh -huh. I thought it was just... Uh, just foliage. Well, let's see. We need 500 of those. And we need all of the other things. Those. Need a bunch of screws now. I think we need screws for the rotors as well. Yeah. And we need 25 rotors. So let's just... Um, Let's just make some of these. I should probably set up a machine at some point for rotors as well. But for now, I think that's going to take more time than just handcrafting them. Uh, or I could have plopped down a temporary machine and just inserted the uh, stuff by hand. But it's, it's fast to craft these. And it does cost a lot of power. And I'm still a bit afraid of running out of power before before we hit the magical coal. So let's see, let's be effective now. We already have 20, so we need five. That's five, three, four, five. And then we need 200 cable as well. Now the cable I should definitely just set up, but we have a hundred, so this is done in around 50 crafts and I think we craft twice a second maybe more possibly more one Mississippi two Mississippi three Mississippi yeah possibly more and there we go and uh, one more thing these and we have the ability to find coal Boom. I'm also going to do research. No, missing one. Can be used to create fabrics. The derived blueprint is now accessible in Hub Tier 1. Additionally, R&D has requested extra samples to determine the cause of an anomaly. Ah, we can make fabric and biomass, okay. Well, we can't do that anyway because we don't have the pod for quite some time. What else can we do? We can do Paleberry. Because apparently we didn't research the Paleberry yet. And there we go. Now, let's put the rest in the box. The stuff we don't need. And then... Let's make sure we have enough. We need one. Don't need to look at the tower. We need one miner to mine the coal. We need one coal generator in case it's far away so it can power its own miner. Uh, that makes sense. Yes, we need a couple of power lines. Let's just add these just in case. And we need a couple of power poles. 
I think that's what we need. And a couple of belts, of course. And probably a splitter. And I know it's overkill to check, but let's see. We have enough rods. We need a stack of concrete. One stack is okay. I'm going to find coal now, Doggo. I wonder if he's a bit jealous now, because he's the only coal supply we've had so far. And I don't want him to feel left out, but I don't think he will be, because he will get loads of attention, even though we have coal from other places. Okay, modular frame, that's good. Five, and then... Wow, the modular frames uh, are quite expensive to make. I think we might have one though, yeah. Okay, so that's done. That means we have everything except the cable, it seems. And now we have the cable, let's go on adventure. This is very exciting. The uh, coal is reached and, and let's see. It might be really far away though. Listening, with bling. Still listening, wow. Okay, almost one kilometer away. And this direction even further. So let's go for this one. I hope that That um, we should possibly make a car to drive there. No, let's run. And we have our zapper on, just in case. Do one more scan to get the direction. This place is beautiful. I wonder why. Uh, let's see, where's the space elevator? I don't think we can see it from here. But this should be the way down into the canyon as well, I think. I hope we don't meet anything scary now. I need to keep a lookout for berries because right now I'm hungry for berries and nuts and other edible stuff. It's scary to run around with no help. There is poisonous things here, and there is birds. Those look quite friendly, though. And there is something up there. I don't know what what that is. I'm not sure. If I don't want to get too close to this poisonous things. What what are you doing? Hello. It's a flower that's poisonous. Okay. Let's not. Let's not. Oh, there's more of them. I wonder if chainsaw. Uh, don't have any biofuel for the chainsaw right now. I'm going to check if it works anyway. No, it doesn't seem like it. But that might be because of uh, lack of fuel. So it might not tell us anything. But it seems like they... It takes a while for them to wake up. Maybe we can zap them. No. Oh, nuts. Okay, uh, so we have a scary area here. With, you know, poison and fireballs and all of the good stuff. Where's the fire shooting mini? There he is. I don't, oh, don't want him to bump us away into the poison now. Okay, and call should be, okay, okay, I was scared there for a second, but this is quite close now, as long as it's not guarded by something really scary, now there's something really scary, it's a headbutting thing, fluffy tailed something I think it was called in the research. 
Oh, there's more of them. Don't run away. And that's one. No. Oh, there's three of them. Need to be very careful now. Okay, good. Let's regenerate up to three. And look for the coal now. There's one more there. And we have to go that way. Is that a snail? Yeah. And a doggo. That's not our doggo. This is our doggo. Okay, so there. Oh, <laughs> little sneezy. Yeah. <laughs> that sound when he sneezes. And we have HP. Okay. Ah, the color scheme. The color scheme. Yeah, the colors are beautiful, but yellow in nature is usually not uh, a happy color, I think. Yeah, that was a good fight. For me, not for the poor thing I murdered, I guess. Um. Whoa. I did not expect this. A survival adventure trip to find the coal. Okay, getting better at this. I like that you can uh, you can jump to avoid them. Let's see. Oh. Do the strife and done. Now this is nice, nice for the uh, carapace research as well, because I think it's ten. Oh, and modular frames. Maybe there is more here. Mm. Oh, a little bit of pop in there, and a swimming charging thing. Is he? Yeah, he's. I'm going to chase him down just in case because our HP is a bit low. Oh, don't back off into the water now. Hmm. You go get him first, Togo. Yep. Okay. So let's check this out. That pop in was a bit scary, and it also kind of tells us that uh, you need to be very close to different stuff to see it and, and that's he's 50 oh, oh okay 50 but that, that's one coal plant and i believe this might be the coal no that's not the coal heating sure probably advanced material and okay Oh, that is the coal. Okay. But uh, I thought I saw a berry. There is the berry. Okay. Not enough. Uh, this doesn't have an icon. Okay, so it looks like uh, we had room, but we don't. So let's. I see. Doggo, can you hold the rotors for a sec? Ah, he can. That's risky. I hope he doesn't run away with it now. But we trust the doggo. Yes. And need to re-equip Zapper. Thank you, doggo. Ah, that was nice. That was nice. Uh, inventory space doggo to the rescue. Yes. And let's hold these wood for us, doggo. So we can eat more berries now. I guess I should have offered him some, but well, he will understand. He does understand because he's a good doggo. Let's see. This is a dangerous area. So, so many enemies. <gasps> Don't sap the doggo now. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. 
well, we are fine, but if, if, <laughs> I don't think I could have lived with myself if I zapped the poor doggo now with, uh, hello, hello, ah, oh, maybe you can get a friend. Let's look up on this ledge. I think these yellow trees, even though they seem very scary, I'm not sure if they are. And as long as we don't have to get close to these poisonous thingies. Okay, and we have spitting thingies. Oh, it's very hard to fight these without taking damage. I guess for now just charging on and it's pure this one is pure as well two pure coal things that's amazing I guess we have uh, coal <laughs> so let's put up a miner in in the beginning here can go here sure and I might merge the belts. No, 120. That's. Uh, I'm going to turn it a tiny bit. I hope we had enough room to do that. Yeah. Then, okay, so we need to fight more. Let's see. A coal generator. Floor is too steep. Yeah, because this one is huge. Okay, so I'm going to put one off to the side here. Like uh, so. Because I think we need to transport the coal. We Because we need coal for steel. Uh, I know this much. Let's connect uh, everything. Connect. Connect. And then with one inventory space like so ah, three coal and one chop we can power it up and let's see if that powers up the miner it does and this will keep everything going okay so now we have power over here and I'm going to I'm going to be so scared when these attack from nowhere and scare us. Uh, let's see. Now this is good. This is good. I'm going to check if we can make a car. Probably should have brought enough stuff for this, but I think for now the important part was to start the miners. And for some reason, I didn't expect to find two coal fields, so I only brought enough stuff for one miner. Let's see. Uh, we have a lot of plates. We have a lot of these. So I'm going to. I'm going to um, see if we can craft the stuff we need. And that's the wrong crafting thing. I guess we need both anyway. These don't need power. Okay, so one purple miner. And then, yeah, that's fine. That's great, actually. Like so, I'm going to remove this cable to connect it here instead. And then, oh, at some point we have to decide if this is going to be our. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. If if this is going to be our fuel area, but uh, what I was thinking now was that let's see, we place the miner, and I'm going to place a box, uh, storage container here, and this will mine twice as much though. As the belt can carry. So I guess 
we can clock it down to 50% and save a bit of power. Even though right now power is definitely infinite. I'm also going to do the same here, put up a box. And that's right. So, and a splitter. It's weird, it's weird when connecting these directly to the belt and the belt is um, not on flat land because the splitters end up at an angle. But I like that because it looks like the belts themselves are holding them up, so it kind of works. Oh, sneezy. And you can go at the 60%. Sure. I'm actually 50 because the first belt can't handle it anyway, so even though. Yeah, like so. And then we can bring back coal. Now, this place is going to be a pain to get back and forth to. So I'm guessing we put up, ah, oh, this is beautiful. We can see it all the way from here. Um, oh wow, this bitty thing up, okay. So this is also a dangerous place and I don't know what's going to happen if we set up a car route uh, over here. But I am going to anyway. I'm going to bring back the coal now and I'm going to build a car and set up a route back here. I think that's the best way to move this, but for now, before we do that, um, I'm going to bring as much coal as we can. One of the coal has, has uh, a lot of power. That, that's because, because that's a word actually, yes. A lot of power in the coal. And if, uh, let's see. Oh, I can't do 100, so I'm going to put this in and then loot this. Sure, need five more. Like so, 300 coal. That's enough to power our base for a very long time, I think. Uh, at least until um, limestone. I can't th throw it away, though, because it's the doggo's limestone. Uh, I'm going to put it here for safekeeping. And then, and then, let's see if we can make a car right now. We don't need this anymore. So if we're lucky, we can make a tractor and a truck station here. And that means beacon, five of them. One, two, three, four, five. And we need more cable which we can make easily. And we need the modular frames. Those need a lot of stuff. So that means we need 10 of these. So a whole bunch of screws. I don't think we have enough rods for this, but well, actually we might need 15 rotors as well though. Let's, yeah, let's try. Uh, need 28 of these. Probably a bit less. Uh, because we have two frames already. And it's lucky if this works because the frames, uh, let's see, the rotors need... Um, things as well. Let's make these first. Oh, I hope we have enough of this. I, I didn't do, you know, the calculations now. I, I'm just crafting. But I think we might get close at least. Uh, four more. No, yes, it's 24 each.
Ah, uh, but the uh, frames themselves. Okay. Unlucky. Unlucky. So that's... Uh, unlucky. Okay. But we might be able to make the, the tractor. Yeah. And... Oh, it's built. Right. There is also a workbench here. So we can remove the workbench. That gives us rods, actually. Uh, now let's see. We need three of these. And... And that means we need a lot more of these as well. Yeah, so no chance right now, even if I uh, tear down stuff. I believe. Okay, so let's <laughs> let's try to get back home uh, using the car. Now though, now we have storage space because the car has a lot of storage and yeah, we access it here, putting fuel in the fuel tank and putting stuff in the storage. Let's see. Couldn't shift or control click, I guess. It's probably because it tries to put it in the fuel tank first. And while the fuel tank is full, that's that doesn't work. Now, I kind of want to see what's in... Uh, what's in the um, thingy over here? The um, uh, what's it called? The uh, I'm not sure what it's called. The ruin thing. So I'm going to see if we can drag the power lines over there because one of the power plants here should be enough for that. As long as I um, as long as I turn off the miner for a second or overclock it and I think this is close enough and let's see power line I don't see the thing though power line now quickly uh, before we go there I'm going to turn off the miners or over clock let's see yeah we have to go back anyway so uh, might as well just overclock the um oh there he is nice the power plant this was a bit finicky uh, because it's a bit you know back and forth but that's okay 50 goes to 68 and these require just four each i believe uh 1.6, okay. But the thing, uh, we, we had to overclock because the thing over there needs um, 50 by itself. So alternatively, could have built up one more power plant. But I think, I think I'm going to build the power plant back home somewhere and then get the coal there by car. I think that will be more sensible even though setting up the driving path for autopilot will be hilarious and and uh, possibly difficult but uh, I think that will be uh, will be a lot of fun now let's open this one and it's operational pulling the switch and what's this I think this is another hard drive yeah Okay, done. Don't need power here anymore. So let's go back and get the car. Now the car is probably quite safe to travel in. Uh, I'm not sure about that. Oh, this looks so nice. I want to explore it, but I don't want to... I don't want to... Uh, get too far away from home. But this... Is it sand? Uh, ice? Snow? It's the desert, or a desert. This is 
Nice. I wonder if this is, you know, where you land if you start in the desert. I don't know. Well, uh, uh, probably not exactly this location. Or it might be. It might be exactly that location where we found the the hard drive now. If those are failed landing sites from uh, other people. Now, let's see how much of a driver we are. And let's see. I'm thinking if we record uh, the car driving. I'm not sure if it's useful to do that from here. So I'm just going to, let's see, open the workbench. I'm going to store all. And then um, get as much coal as possible. And workbench. Yeah, that was messy. Actually, it's not messy at all because we can sort and just get it back. Yeah, the problem is this. Okay, I'm just going to leave it in the inventory for now and let's go for a drive now. Home is that way. And I, <laughs> I wonder if the doggo is chasing cars. Oh, this is going to be a struggle with all the... Careful, doggo. Don't chase the car. I need to train him not to do that. I should have... Um... Yeah, I need to be sure that he's safe, no matter what. Now, this feels a bit safer than uh, moving towards. And the poison area uh, will probably be safer as well. Uh oh I need to not drive uh, so I hit the trees. Is that a snail? That's a snail. But it's going to be poison here. No, if I'm fast now, I'm, I can get the snail. Ninja. And there. Hide from the poison. Nice. That's uh, two of them. Uh, yeah, two of them, but one is left in the power plant. I forgot that one. That's okay. Let's see. I hope I'm driving the right way now. But I think this is the right way. Now, this was an adventure. And I see so many berries. I wonder if if the berries respawn. I've heard that stuff does respawn, but not, uh, but not when you're close. Now, that drive wasn't bad at all. That drive seemed... A lot worse when uh, on the other side of it, and we're, because we're back home now. So I guess that that uh, that's nice. So we need to set up need to set up a way to get the coal here, and we do have we do have. Um, a belt upgrade available now. Let's see. Fabric. Uh, used for equipment crafting. Oh. And then we can research the fabric afterwards. Okay, that's fine. But for now, let's see. For now. Xeno Basher. Um, steel. And this needs motors and we need steel to make motors. So logistics MK3 is going to take some time. So I'm going to do logistics MK2. Now that's a bit weird because I think it's possible to skip this actually. I'm not sure if this, you know, it's it's not an exact research tree in this game. So it's, um, uh, you know, you can jump around basically in uh, in the tech now let's um, let's quickly set up an assembler 
I'm going to remove the truck station for now. And I'm going to get these kinds of things. Uh, we have many of these kinds of things. How are we doing here? We have many of this kind of thing as well. Now, that's nice to see. That's really nice to see. So, one assembler here. And then... And then... Uh, uh, it's not an assembler, it's a constructor. Uh, last line from this. Last line from this. I don't like to use the last line for powering a machine. What was this to... I don't get that. Did I... Yeah, it's uh, the machine has turned the wrong way. I think. Let's hope that was the reason. Constructor. And flip it around like so. Still going to align it. And probably don't need uh, a lot from this, but some cable, 15 a minute, sure, 15 a minute is fine for now. Uh, might not need it, might need more, but we can adapt to that later. And putting a storage container in front of it as well. I want to look <laughs> there. Now, we do have way, way more wire than we need. This needs 30 a minute, so the belt is fine, and yeah, that's fine. I, I think this should be uh, more than we need. And then, I'm going to make a couple of power plants. I guess these are almost like temporary power plants now. Uh, but it's still nice to make them. Or I'll just spend some time making sure that we get them in the right location. Now I'm going to put the hard drive in here and the petals in there as well. And some berries. I have quite a lot of berries now. And then the rotors, which needs screws. I think. I think we have enough screws in the box. Uh, I don't remember the ratio there. We might need more uh, screw machines. Actually, uh, no, probably don't need more screw machines. Just need a machine making rotors. I think that's uh, a good option. Now, three coal generators. Um, if the car is coming from this location, then the power plant can be placed quite far away. Let's see. I'm going to bring the power. I uh, need a quite large flat area because the um, power plants are quite large. I don't think we drove this way. But this area is flat and it's fine for now. So let's set up, let's see, one. And let's align you. Align, please. Oh, is that the alignment? Yeah, looks like it. Two. And three. I can't afford not enough cable. I was sure I had enough. Uh, it's probably, probably just me seeing things that are incorrect. Now we have enough cable, okay. Also need to make sure we have enough for one splitter and one container, and we do. And then 
then we have coal power in the base as well. So we did bring quite a lot of uh, coal. There is some coal uh, on the person and some coal in the car still, I believe. Let's, let's set you up there. And I think this is the way I want to do stuff. I want to align uh, the storage crate to one building and then I'm going to put the splitter on the belt and that's beautiful and completely aligned it I believe it's as close to perfect as one can get so let's see the power goes the line goes through there that's not a nice power line so I'm going to disconnect it and drag it here instead. Then across. Then this can connect. This connects to two. That does not look good either. These buildings are weird. I'm not sure where the connection is. Oh, it's over on this side, okay. Yeah, so, so I'm going to I'm going to move that later, uh, but we might also, you know, move the actual uh, coal plants as well. So let's sort this. Put all the coal in, and we don't have a connection here. So do you connect there? Okay. How about you? Yeah. Oh, our power is spiking. This is so good. And and it's consuming them uh, quite slow. So what I'm going to do now is probably deconstruct all of the biofuel, at least after we set up the route. And the route is going to be very easy to set up. I'm going to do that in the next episode because that will be... Um, that will be... Uh, a nice thing to prioritize then but for now there is so much coal here that our base is powered unlimited power that, that's good I'm very happy with this this was a triumph I'm going to make a note here huge success it's hard to overstate my satisfaction and all that. So, um, that's it for today's episode. We got the coal and we set it up and we have all the buildings we need except for the rotor maker right now. And, and um, because we have the reinforced iron plates now and that's magnificent. So as long as we get the rotors made i think let's look at these that's tier three is rotors don't even need them for the walkways or the color gun so maybe can we select a new one it's possible to select a new one i didn't know and it already has the resources here oh this is this is beautiful i didn't know so let's do the fabric first because we can do the fabric first. Okay, that's a good tidbit of information. I didn't know you could change or switch. That means we can make fabric nice, which requires leaves and mycelia or mycelia. I'm not sure how that's pronounced. And then we can uh, do logistics MK2 again. Okay, that's good. That's good. We can set that up uh, tomorrow but for now let's look at our power plant over here it's great we are now doing some extra extra nice pollution and we all enjoy pollution so thank you all very much for watching and i'll see you in the next episode bye bye